for themselves. Amen. <laughs> Grab your Bibles with me tonight. Turn with me into Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9, we're going to read verse 6. You can stand with me in reverence to God's Word. Amen. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, yeah. Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, yeah. the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. We thank you not just for words on a paper, but Lord, your living word that is alive and was alive and has been alive since the beginning and will remain throughout all of eternity. And that same word becoming flesh that dwelt among men, who was the light and is the light of all those who have been born into this world. Amen. Lord, we thank you for that wonderful counselor, that great father. Lord, we thank you for giving your life for ours. Amen. And we pray, Lord, that you would just speak to our hearts tonight through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to do much preaching tonight. I'm probably not going to do any preaching that you're used to me preaching. But uh, the Lord laid it on my heart just to read the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Uh, because it is the greatest story ever told. Yeah. Uh, there is none greater. Because there is none that has such an impact upon the world and upon the hearts and lives and souls of men such as the story of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. So if you'll turn with me into Luke chapter 1. And it's going to be a lot of reading and that's why I'm not going to do any preaching. But it's good for us to go over uh, again the story that we love so much as we sang uh, the first hymn tonight was I love to tell the story. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's good to refresh ourselves in that story. Amen. We're going to start in chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. And his wife was the daughters of Aaron. And her name, his wife was of the daughters of Aaron. And her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice, at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. Yeah. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him 
in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedience to the wisdom of the judge to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Yeah. Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. The angel answered and said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when, he, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. The angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. And shall, he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. And, and then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Yeah. Behold, my, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who also, or who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Yeah. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel of the hill country with haste into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. Yeah. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that, that, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Yeah. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Yeah. For he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call yeah. me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Yeah. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation yeah. to generation. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. 
He hath opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marveled all. Yeah. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spake and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these things were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Yeah. He performed the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, yeah. in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way, his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, yeah. to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the desert to the day of his showing unto Israel. Yeah. Now if you will turn with me to Matthew chapter 1. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 1, and we'll start in verse 18. Starting in verse 18, it says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found the child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all of this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, yeah. which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Yeah. Now turn back with me to Luke chapter 2. You can keep your finger there in Matthew, but we'll be going back to it again. 
Luke chapter 2, and starting in verse 1. It says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be, be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Yeah. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly Host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Yeah. It came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Yeah. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was no name, uh, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. And behold, there was, in a, man, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Yeah. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up, in his arms, and blessed God, and said, Lord, now let us file thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Yeah. And there was one Anna, a prophetess of the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Aser, 
she was of a great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Yeah. And then back to Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2, starting in verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of these shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring the word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Yeah. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was seeding, exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was that which was spoken by, then was fulfilled that was which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in the dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that our blessed did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod. He was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream. He turned aside into the parts of Galilee, and he came and dwelt in the city of Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, 
which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Yeah. One of the amazing things about the story of the Lord Jesus Christ is that he did fulfill all the prophecies. Yeah. And I guess it's not amazing in the fact that we know he was the Son of God. You know, someone came up with a ratio of, of you know, an odd against one person fulfilling all the prophecy that was written about the Christ. And it was like one to 500,000, one in 500,000 or something like that. But Jesus Christ fulfilled all those prophecies. Yeah. Yeah. He was the Christ. Yeah. He is the Christ. Amen. Amen.